Welcome back to New to the Street here from the iconic New York Stock Exchange. I'm your host, Janet Alvarez, joined today by the CEO of CISO Global, David Jemmett. David, how are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, David. CISO is one of those transformative stories that we love to highlight on New to the Street. Tell us what's new at CISO, the great successes you've been having of late. A lot of great success. Unfortunately, cybercrime is going through the roof, so business is booming. Yeah. Not necessarily the best thing. And just to clarify for the audience, there's a lot of people asking what CISO means. It's Chief Information Security Officer, and that's the ticker symbol. So um, it's transformative. Some of the things that's taking place right now is AI. And so it used to be kids in hoodies. Now it's state-sponsored hackers using AI, which are really accelerating the way that crime has taken place in the digital world today. You're right. That is troubling. But thankfully, companies like CISO are on top of it. There's a big opportunity right now for you in the insurance space. Talk to us about that. Why is cybersecurity so important right now there? Well, candidly, cybersecurity, if you look on a balance sheet, it's a black red hole. They can't really see it. It's almost like a virus during the pandemic. Yeah. Can you see the virus? No. But what's taking place with insurance, they're buying the insurance because the products that they're buying from us are backed by a million five per incident. They can actually see that piece of equipment, understand it, fill it, touch it, but we protect against the things you can't see. So they're really buying comfort and being able to sleep at night that their machines are being protected. Talk to us about some of the recent financial changes that have occurred at CISO. There was a debt to equity conversion. Mm -hmm. Tell us what was behind that and how you've minimized any dilution. Well, another great question. So you've done your homework. Essentially, we have. This is self-funded by myself. I started the company, took it all the way through until we up less to NASDAQ. We did take some capital in from some really great partners, board member and advisory committee. And so it was about nine and a half million dollars worth of convertible debt. Well, the street didn't like the convertible debt, obviously on the balance sheet. So getting together with them, and when I say they're really good friends, they're almost like family, we took that debt and converted it to series prep A. And that is the way we didn't have to dilute anybody and they became a different preference of stock. And quite frankly, they were happy to do it. And so it was a big swing from 9 million in debt to 9 million on our balance sheet. So tell us what the opportunity is now for investors in CFO Global. Of course, our investing community pays close attention to these opportunities. How would you describe it? Uh, it's uh, usually from competitors of our size, if you look at the street, not myself, but if you look at analysts, are 10 times the value of what the revenues are. We're actually trading below our revenues. So there's a disconnect. Um, we just picked up, obviously, a PR firm, which is great because we've been kind of right keep riding the ship. And now that we've righted it, we're coming out and we've got some just like the insurance fig. Kagi and those large insurance groups who've signed contracts with us, it will continue and we'll be able to tell the street that story through another medium than ourselves. What are you proudest of at CISO Global? What have been the crowning achievements that you most would highlight? A lot of them we can't talk about, but some of my friends have been better friends. This is my seventh company, but friends have been in the industry, Fortune 5000, Fortune 50, and they get breached. That's big trouble. The current achievements of having our individuals go in and take care of that and eradicate the hackers and fix their systems. Um, that's one of the best things in the world for me. And more importantly is seeing the growth of this industry. There's 4 million job openings today and we're starting to fill that together. And uh, people are really starting to recognize it then it just be a black hole. So. As AI, cybersecurity continue to evolve, as new threats begin to emerge, how do you stay on top of these changes? How do you ensure that you remain at the forefront of these technology? Really, it's studying every day. We have a group of engineers who only just specifically study. Um, so I don't know if you're aware, but the third largest GDP in the world is cybercrime. So it's America, China, and cybercrime. Founding. That is amazing. So we have people who work more than 40 hours, probably 60, but they have to sleep. AI creates a way for them to actually evolve current software, ransomware, ways to get into the customers. Uh, just last week, 831 banks were hacked by the same group from, with AI. So our job is to create AI programs to be proactive. 
So when do you actually get hacked? And when are you told? You get hacked and then you get told. Yeah. We knew three or four years ago that where there wasn't enough people to actually satisfy that need. So we created our own intellectual property that's proactively killing the service, those bad actors and software before it gets into the system. We have an AI constantly looking at evolution of ransomware, malware, and the different types of group that are coming out. And that's how we're staying ahead of it. And trust me, it's still a job and it's hard, but we coming to com together as a community, as a group. So I have frenemies, not just enemies, right? So I have frenemies who are competitors and we work really well together because we're only going to overcome it coming together. What excites you most about the future of your company? The growth, the opportunity, the partnerships that are coming in, most importantly, the individual growth, uh, helping folks who have wisdom and cybersecurity and AI and them growing, uh, coming out of college and understanding it and becoming professionals. Whereas if they come out of college, they wonder, what is it really like? After a year or two with us, it was totally different they learned in school. And so seeing them go with us and graduate each and every year uh, is exciting, but more exciting is coming up with ways to help our community as well as the US protect itself. You've got a tremendous road ahead of you. Where can we go to learn more about CISO Global? It's pretty easy. You can go to www.ciso.inc. So Chief Information Security Officer Incorporated. David, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And thank you for joining us today on New to the Street. Stories like CISO Global, of course, encapsulate the beauty of innovation in various industries. From the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Janet Alvarez. <laughs>